with another review, this time of uh, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, Destro. It's kind of unusual for me to do two reviews in one day, but I'm really excited about this figure, and I mean, they're G.I. Joe's reviews, so they're not going to be too long. Um, I fixed the lighting problem, I just put a flashlight on the um, front of my computer, and it's given it a nice even lighting, it looks like. You can see a lot more of the details on the figure this way, so I uh, set Destro to the side, take a look at the packaging. G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra has a really cool picture of Destro on the side. Destro, weapons supplier, has a Cobra logo on the side. Uh, of course, standard file card and description of the toy line, and it has the other toys in the, the way. So, um, of course, just, just standard G.I. Joe packaging. I, I like the packet packaging on these. Um, now let's get on to the figure itself. Destro, um, amazing figure. I mean... In the package, it doesn't look that spectacular, but there's something about it that's just a really top-notch figure. I really like this one. Um, so let's, let's get him off the stand. Um, and it's, of course, standard uh, G.I. Joe stands, Destro. It's got the cool emblems and whatnot on it. Um, let's take a look at the detail on him. The oh, Well, first, let's actually get his accessories out of the way. He's got actually quite a bit, um, for, um, he, although he was, he was, Destro himself was only in about, uh, maybe two, like, as Destro, um, he was in it maybe two minutes, um, just as Destro with the silver face and stuff, but, um, the, the, the person under the mask was in it the whole time, um, but, yeah, just really, really nice detail, um, it looks almost like a Nazi suit, but it's not, but it's just, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. Inside it has a, a really nice Cobra logo. Um, the detail on these, like I said, are just really great. Awesome detail on the head. Just I love the head detail. Looks very nice. I like the eyes in there and the details just top top notch. Um, really nice jacket and stuff. The belt, everything is. They even included paint apps onto the boots for the belt for the boot buckles. I don't know if you can see that, but there's gold uh, boot buckles. So, yeah, it's really great. Um, for articulation, it's standard G.I. Joe articulation. Surprisingly, nothing is really hindered on him, and for my figure at least. Head can rotate 360 degrees. Oh, eh. Scratch that, it gets a little bit hindered on the collar. It likes to pop off if you turn it too, too much, but you can still get a good range of turning. Um, rotates at the waist. Looks up and down the waist really nicely, like really, really nicely. As you can see, it goes every which way on the waist. Uh, goes in and out the arm, rotates at the arm, bends at the elbow, rotates at the elbow, um, rotates at the wrist. Um, leg can go in and out, rotates 360 degrees, but you can't rotate 360 degrees because of the skirt. It, it, it not skirt, but jacket. It's a bit hindered, but you know. Not really gonna have Destro with his leg behind his head anyway, so like I said, for Destro nothing's really hindered. Um, I'm gonna bend it two can bend two points on the knee, um, bend at the foot and rotate at the foot. So really good articulation on Destro for his accessories. He comes with uh, actually it sounds weird, but he comes with four to five, depending on how you uh, pose one of his. Weapons. He comes with, um, at first glance, in, like in the packaging and stuff, just looks like a rifle. And I mean, that's all I thought it was. Uh, looks really cool. Looks like a really long rifle. You can hold it really nicely. And I hope by doing this I don't give away the little surprise in it. But yeah, holds it really nicely on both arms. But um, I, when I took it out, it fell apart. I thought, uh-oh, did I break it? Well, actually, what it does is really cool. Separates into two um, handguns. They both fit into his hands really nicely. So, um, really cool. They can store on the sides of his legs. He has two pegs. So, uh, you can get weapon storage like that. Most of his stuff does store. There's one weapon that doesn't, but uh, all, all the rest of them store. But it looks kind of weird on there, but I mean, at least it stores. I usually actually have him posed with the rifle. It comes with this little 
I don't even know what it is. A little light machine gun or something. Can't hold it at all. Period. You can't you can't get him to hold it. Which is a big downside. But it's actually more for display purposes to have it hooked onto his leg anyways. It's kinda where it's meant to be. So not a not a big disappointment, but it would have been nice to have him holding this whatever it is. And he comes with this black pistol. Standard um Cobra pistol actually. This I think all of the Cobra figures I have so far have this pistol. Holds it perfectly. It doesn't fall out or wobble or anything. And you can see it has a pouch on the front of him that you can store the pistol in. Goes in there really nicely. And then, uh, last but not least, comes with his big old gun. Huge. Biggest one I have so far. Well, that's almost, what, uh, a half, one and a half times bigger than the figure itself. Uh, shoots the missile really nicely. And the missile is cool itself, really detailed. Looks like a big flame. Um, this could be like a flamethrower or something. But, uh, overall, really, really good, de uh, figure itself. I love Astro. Love the character, love the figure. Just really good uh, figure overall. So I definitely recommend him to any G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra fan, or collector. So stay tuned for more reviews, and this is Eddie, signing out.